All right, this could seriously change your life forever, so please stick around for this. I'm gonna share one of my most beloved techniques, and as far as for editing audio, like recording voiceovers or podcasts or things like that nature, this is so incredible. All right, so let's just get to it. All right, so I have an aux track here with my effects, and I'm running it to an audio track. You can do that if you wanna print the effects, but I'm just gonna use that for this video. So at the very least, all you need is your record track and a blank audio track below, all right? So this is how it works, and I recommend you probably go into slip mode for this, so I'm gonna hit record, and then now I'm talking, I'm recording, I'm recording, and any time that I make a mistake, this is what I'm going to do. So let's pretend that right here, that was a mistake. So I'm gonna select that, highlight it, and then drag that selection to the track below. Now I'm gonna use the shortcut Option-Command-G, and as you can see, I've made a clip group. So now when I stop the clip group, Notice that the recording on top overwrites it and we're left with the clip below, all right? Now this is very, very useful. So now what I can do is select this clip, hit the P key to move my selection above, and now I can just delete that. Then I can just go F, F, fade that in, fade that out, and now I have the perfect edit. So markers are great too. Obviously you can just turn on your marker ruler here, click the plus button, drop that as a mistake here. Now that's fine, but this is so much more effective to just instantly edit all the mistakes out and it goes even one step further you're gonna really like this check this out all right so let's say i'm talking here i'm recording and here's a mistake and now i'm talking again and here's another mistake and here's one more mistake for good measure okay so now what you could do is you could click each one go p and delete but there's actually a quicker way. And this is really, really cool. I've never seen this done before I figured this out. So if you go here and right click on your object tool, this is a really cool thing in Pro Tools that allows you to select individual clips and modify them and do all this cool stuff. But check this out. So first off, if I shift select all these and drag the selection up, I'm gonna do control option. Control is gonna allow me to not move it out of time and option is gonna duplicate it. So if I drag this up, it's gonna get rid of all the audio and I don't want that. So I'm gonna right click up here, go to the object tool. And now if I make a selection and drag that to the track above with control option, I can hit delete. And now I have edited the whole entire thing. So imagine you could have a really long recording take and in two seconds, you can cut out all the mistakes. And then you can just select them all, fade them in like this. Or you can go to shuffle mode, go tab, shift tab, delete, so on and so forth, put them all together. So this technique seriously can save you so much time and so much headaches. So try this out. I hope it helps you out. And please hit that follow button. Take care, everybody.